this next tool here is a lot of fun. I'm going to be putting in a new layer here. Let's do a new type layer. Back to our type tool. And I'll just type in warping, which is what we'll be doing here. Choose OK on that. And I'll hide that more. There we go. I'm going to make this a little larger. We can just hide this right side panel bin and center that. Let's go back to our type tool and I'll click into that type. Now down here we have the create warped text button right there. Let's click on that. Okay, I can't use the bold or italic style on that. That's fine. I'll just click on that and let's get rid of those. There we go. So that's now cleaned out. So that type tool, there it is. And this brings up the warp text dialog. I'm just going to cancel it just for one second and let's just put this up a little higher so we can see that a bit better. There we go. Back to our type tool. Warp text. There it is. In here there are lots of different warp text styles. Arc, lower and upper, arch, bulge, shield, flag, wave, fish, fisheye, squeeze, twist, all kinds of stuff. Any one of these has controls down here allowing you to control that. For instance, here's the arc. It's a horizontal arc. Here's a vertical arc. It's a great way to make some real fun, fast typography. You can adjust the bend. You can see that bend in there is... We're going to kind of see where it's going to be going to. You can also reverse that other direction. You can place in a horizontal or vertical distortion as well on that. This is one of those things that used to be able to buy a program, you know, ages ago that did just this. So this is a lot of fun having this tool right inside of Photoshop Elements that used to be its own program. Here's a vertical distortion. You can kind of see that happening in there. There we go. You can see how that works. Let's go the other direction on that. On any of these, you can also just type in a number if you want to. Be real specific about that. So if you know what your number should be, just type that number in. Okay, let's take a look at some of these options. We have our arc, which warps the top and the bottom. There's an arch lower. Leaves the top pretty much alone, but arches the bottom part of the type or puts preference towards the bottom. Arc upper, same thing but preference towards the top. Arch does the whole thing as you can see there. And notice the difference. On the arch the letters are staying vertical. So the, the vertical lines are staying the same. They're staying vertical. On the arc the vertical lines are splaying out from a center point down here somewhere. So they're curving out and the arch they stay the same. So similar effect but a different way that the letters behave. Here's a bulge. There's a top and bottom. And again you can you know control that. You can squeeze it in if you go the other direction. If you go too far it'll actually reverse itself which is kind of cool. There you go. A shell lower, a shell upper, interesting shape. Kind of a waving flag effect in here. Again, you can adjust this. In all of these, you can always come in and adjust the vertical or horizontal distortion on that and change the look again. There's a waving effect, again, similar fish shape, a rising shape, it's rising on one side or descending, you go the other direction. A fisheye look, you can see that fisheye happening there, there we go. If you go the other direction it kind of pinches in. Inflate kind of like the fisheye and again if you go the other way it squeezes it. There's a different 
squeeze effect and a twisting effect actually kind of warps it around the center. There we go, a little, little warping effect. It's a really interesting tool, interesting technique here, a lot of fun to play with this. Let's just do this arch effect here. I'll do a horizontal distortion on that. Choose OK. Now once you have done this, notice that I can go back to my type. I can still select my type. So I can still work with my type. Even though I had this warping effect, it's still I can still work with this. I also can go back up here to our effects and I can apply an effect to that as well. So even though you have warped that, it hasn't blocked you from doing anything else that you may want to do with that type. Let's see what else we got down here. There we go, kind of unusual. Combination of a couple of things in there. So there it is. That is the warping text effect. And again, you get to that. Let's just hide this other stuff over here. Let's just hide the panel bin. You get to that under the type tool and that little button right there. Create warp text. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.